going on guys john with the pro cut today we're out in the wife's studio and we're going to swap out an outlet and what we're putting in is going to be an outlet that's got built-in usb chargers so let me show you how this is done the first thing we did was cut the power to the building it's a nice sunny day so we don't need the lights on because we got all these windows here so cut your breaker off that way it's safer and easier to do this electrical job. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is get your flathead screwdriver and take off the old base plate. Move that to the side. And then on this particular one, I've got Phillips that are holding in my outlet. So you're going to take those out. pull your outlet out you'll notice there's two wires in here now I have the luxury of being the one that wired this building so I know that the reason I have two wires in here is because I have power coming from one side and it's jumping down to the other wires um, it's not super necessary to know that but it's nice so the next thing you're going to do is loosen up your wire terminals on both sides so you can get your old outlet out of the way ground wires as well as your hots and neutrals All right, now lastly our hot wires and with the power turned off and everything it really doesn't matter what order you do these in All right, now for the new outlet, our wires, this one has deals where you could just put your wires straight in. You don't need a hook on them. So we can straighten these wires out. If you have enough extra wire, you can always just clip these off and restrip your wire. I don't have a whole lot of extra wire, so I'm just going to do it this way. Now, normally there is a little piece on the bottom of the outlet that shows you how long your stripped wire needs to be, but on this one, it doesn't look like there is. And on this one, all your your hots and your commons are both going on the same side. Now your common is going to be with your white screw and your hot is going to be with your copper screw. That's always. Now, if for some reason both your screws are the same color, you can read the writing on the back of the outlet, white and hot. And then your grounds are over here on the end. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just test this wire and it looks like I'm going to need to just cut about an eighth of an inch off of that one. Or a sixteenth. So clip the other one. Now you can see that these wires go in. And there's really no bare wire sticking out past the back of the outlet. And then you can tighten that down. It can be a little fiddly at times. Just make sure you get them good and secure in there. And then you can see where the sheathing on the wire stops right at the metal. And that's exactly what you want. Now, same thing with our common wires. I'm going to go ahead and straighten out those on the ends. And then we'll 
we'll just cut them to length as well. And tighten that down. Last thing we got left to do is our ground wires. Now on these ground wires, one thing I am going to do since this new outlet really only has space for one wire to come in where the other outlet had space for two, I'm going to take my two ground wires and I'm going to use a bonding ring here. Not quite sure that's the proper name for that, but basically it puts the two together. So you'll take and put that ring on there, run it inside your box, and then with some crimping tools, you'll take and crimp that ring down onto your ground wires. And now that makes them one wire. So you can take your excess on the one side and go ahead and Nip that off. Now you just have one nice clean ground wire. And you can bring that into the bottom side of your outlet. And it looks like this one is going to go ahead and want a little hook on it, which is fine. So bend a hook onto that wire and then get it down here into place. Sometimes it's a little bit of a pain to get these in where they need to be. But loosen your screw if you need to. If it's not loose enough from the factory. That way you can get it down in there into place. And then tighten that screw back up. Good and snug. Now I believe I am going to have to use the other screws. I don't think these factory screws are going to fit as far as being long enough. I think that's why I had the other screws in it to begin with. So you're just going to push that into place. All right, yeah, he's... These screws aren't going to do the job, so we're going to just pull these out of the way and reuse these longer screws that I had in there. I almost put that thing in upside down. That, that would have drove me crazy. Um, spin this joker around 180 degrees. I like for my outlets to have the ground on the bottom, not the top. Make sure your wires are getting tucked in there properly and you're not having any bare wires touching your hot or your, anything like that. All right, now this is in the way it belongs. Now we can go ahead and tighten everything down. And the other screw. Okay, so now with your new outlet in place, you can just level it out. Then you can put on your new cover because this outlet is the new style. So it's a square outlet as opposed to the two round ones. Back to the flathead screwdriver tip. I always try to get my screws to where they're finished up perfectly vertical. That 
one's not wanting to start, so I'm gonna back this top one back out. And see if I can't get this bottom one in there. There we go. All right, now with the bottom one in, we can should be able to get the top one back into place. Now you don't wanna over tighten these cause you will crack these plates, but that's all there is to it. Now you can turn your breaker back on in your breaker box and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed for more great DIY videos on how you can make your property better.